A Seattle-based salvage company believes it has confirmed the site of a historic sunken vessel near Alki Point. The SS Dix was part of the Mosquito Fleet, which carried passengers across the Puget Sound. Erica Zuko from our sister station in Seattle reports on why they believe they found it and what happens next. This crew aboard the Sea Blazer spends hours on the seas, searching underwater for signs of the past. I mean, it's a great feeling to basically uh, have that moment of discovery. They chart the seas and troubleshoot technology to rig up a robot that can go deep and send back answers. It allows us to see out uh, about 100 meters uh, in front of the robot and then be able to just zero in on anything that we can find. But Rockfish uh, CEO can, Jeff Hummel says like, what they're looking for today is a more sobering find. Today we're out uh, imaging the dicks, uh, which sank um, 117 years ago this weekend in the, the worst tragedy of Puget Sound. The SS Dix was part of the Mosquito Fleet, a group of private transport vessels on Puget Sound. In 1906, it collided with a steam schooner near Alki Point, sinking quickly and killing at least 39 people. Its location remained a mystery for decades, even though the tragedy happened this close to the city of Seattle. Fascinating that this wreck has been here unknown for 117 years, and you look at how close we are to you know everything. Hummel says more than 10 years ago, a different company used sonar to image a wreck near Alki, but based on the shape, didn't think it was the dicks. I'm gonna sneak by here quick, thanks. His crew visited the site a few years later to test equipment they designed and kept going back. They took new sonar images and say they needed to be looked at differently. And when you take the image and you flip it around and then you do the comparison of the features from a photograph to what we see on the sonar, that we, that we get this uh, perfect alignment of all the different features uh, on the wreck. Hummel says nothing has been taken from the site to be tested to further confirm if it is in fact the SS Dix. Okay, here we go, guys. At this point, his team's assessment Pull it in a little bit. is based on sonar images. The crew dropped a remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, more than 500 feet below. And we watched sonar images in a camera feed as they navigated through water and sediment. Oh, there, there it is. It is. Sonar imaging eventually showed a vessel shape. The camera shows sea anemones Hummel says appear to be coating the vessel. The Northwest Shipwreck Alliance also found in one salvage rights to the SS Pacific, which sunk near Nia Bay in 1875 with people and gold on board. But there are differences here. One of the questions now is how to keep such a historically significant site safe and untouched. They're working on a number of avenues to try to seek legal protections. Hummel says they're asking for help from lawmakers to prevent interference at the site. I would say release here. Release, okay. No. They're also consulting right, historical societies in. and the state and to look Dave, deeper ready? into what they believe they've found and are continuing their work in search of what else lies beneath. All right, we're just like right out here in Elliott Bay and this thing has been hidden here. There's more discoveries to be made. From the waters of Puget Sound, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.